But sex, nicotine, cocaine, amphetamine, those things cause increases in dopamine in everybody that takes them. So what sorts of things increase dopamine? And how much do they increase dopamine? Well, let's take a look at some typical things that people do out there or ingest out there that are known to increase dopamine. So let's recall that you have a baseline level of dopamine and that everybody does. And even within a family, you might have family members who are very excitable, happy, and motivated, and others who are less excitable, happy, and motivated. But your level of dopamine has everything to do with those genetics, but also with what you've experienced in the previous days and the previous months and so on. When you do or ingest certain things, your levels of dopamine will rise above baseline transiently. And depending on what you do or ingest, it will rise either more or less, and it will be very brief or it'll last a long time. So let's take a look at some of the typical things that people take and do and eat. Some are good for us, some are not good for us. And let's ask how much dopamine is increased above baseline. Now, of course, these are averages, but these are averages that have been measured in so-called microdialysis studies in animals. So actually extracting from particular brain areas how much dopamine is released or from measuring the serum, the, the circulating levels of dopamine in humans. Chocolate. They didn't look at milk versus dark chocolate, but chocolate will increase your baseline level of dopamine 1.5 times. Okay, So it's a pretty substantial increase in dopamine. It's transient. It goes away after a few minutes or even a few seconds. I'll explain what determines the duration in a minute. But 1.5 times for chocolate. Sex. Both the pursuit of sex and the act of sex increases dopamine two times. So it's a doubling above baseline. Now, of course, there's going to be variation there, but that's the average increase in baseline dopamine caused by sex. Later, I will talk about how the different aspects of the so-called arousal arc, the different aspects of sex, believe it or not, have a differential impact on dopamine. But for now, as a general theme or activity, sex doubles the amount of dopamine circulating in your blood. Nicotine, in particular, nicotine that is smoked, like cigarettes and so forth, increases dopamine two and a half times above baseline. So there's a peak that goes up above baseline two and a half times higher. It is very short-lived. Anyone who's ever been a chain smoker or observed a chain smoker understands that the increase in dopamine from nicotine is very short-lived. Cocaine will increase the level of dopamine in the bloodstream two and a half times above baseline. And amphetamine, another drug that increases dopamine, will increase the amount of dopamine in the bloodstream 10 times above baseline. A tremendous increase in dopamine. Exercise. Now, exercise will have a different impact on the levels of dopamine depending on how much somebody subjectively enjoys that exercise. So if you're somebody who loves running, chances are it's going to increase your levels of dopamine two times above your baseline. Not unlike sex. People who dislike exercise will achieve less dopamine increase or no increase in dopamine from exercise. And if you like other forms of exercise like yoga or weightlifting or swimming or what have you, again, it's going to vary by your subjective experience of whether or not you enjoy that activity. This is important. And it brings us back to something that we talked about earlier. Remember that mesocorticolimbic pathway? Well, the cortical part is important. The cortical part actually has a very specific part, which is your prefrontal cortex. The area of your forebrain that's involved in thinking and planning and involved in assigning a rational explanation to something and involved in assigning a subjective experience to something. Right? So, for instance, the pen that I'm holding right now, it's one of these Pilot V5s. I love these Pilot V5s. They don't sponsor the podcast. But I just happen to like them. I like the way that they write, how they feel. 
if I spent enough time thinking about it or talking about it, I could probably get a dopamine increase just talking about this Pilot V5. And that's not because I have the propensity to release dopamine easily. It's that as we start to engage with something more and more and what we say about it and what we encourage ourselves to think about it has a profound impact on its rewarding or non-rewarding properties. Now, it's not simply the case that you can lie to yourself and you can tell yourself, I love something and when you don't really love it and it will increase dopamine. But what's been found over and over again is that if people journal about something or they practice uh, some form of appreciation for something or they think of some aspect of something that they enjoy, the amount of dopamine that that behavior will evoke tends to go up. So for people that hate exercise, you can think about some aspect of exercise that you really enjoy. However, I will caution you against saying to yourself, I hate exercise or I hate studying or I hate this person, but I love the reward I give myself afterward. Later, we're going to talk about how rewards given afterward actually make the situation worse. They won't make you like exercise more or studying more. They actually will undermine the dopamine release that would otherwise occur for that activity. So certain things, chemicals have a universal effect. They make everybody's dopamine go up. So some people like chocolate, some people don't, of course, but in general, it make, has causes this increase in dopamine. But sex, nicotine, cocaine, amphetamine, those things cause increases in dopamine in everybody that takes them. Things like exercise, studying, hard work, working through a challenge in a relationship or working through something hard of any kind, that is going to be subjective as to how much dopamine will be released. And we will return to that subjective component in a little bit. 